fam welcome back to my channel my name is Lika and today we're gonna be doing a pretty intense makeup haul I'm gonna go ahead and preface it the next statement or that I should have prefaced that last statement with saying that I this is an accumulation of stuff like this didn't like just happen in a week like this is a few weeks like leading up to this video so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it we're gonna do a go through the haul I went a little crazy <laughs> um, if that sounds like something that you're interested in and just hang out with me and see what's up what I picked up uh, stay tuned and we'll get right into it but before that don't forget to subscribe like and uh, become part of the family so let's get started all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and start with my holy grail hair shampoo um this set was recent i picked up the set previously when we had the vib sale in sephora i got this one doo -doo -doo, did i get it at sephora Old i don't even remember like i said i got this a while ago um so i love the briogeo don't uh despair repair um uh, shampoo and conditioner this one comes in with a deep conditioner like deluxe sample and a strength treatment oil so I if I decided since I had already gotten the previous set of this and I really like this product anyways that I was just gonna go ahead and pick up another set which obviously makes sense so there's that Put that on there um, I also picked up from Sephora the, another Murad um, clarifying cleanser. Um, this is in the 0.5 salicylic acid treatment. I do use the higher percentage one at nighttime along the side of this one, but I do get the big bottle in this one because I do go through this one quicker than the other one. So I get the deluxe sample and the 1.5 um, clarifying cleanser for my skin. I have sensitive acne prone skin but I do get a lot of acne so this is almost not strong enough but the other one by itself is too strong so I mix the, the two so got that um do 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 what else did I get from Sephora alright so don't judge me <laughs> I didn't mean to pick this up because I don't necessarily think I, I obviously didn't need it but it was just like it was calling me Sephora is now letting us swatch so I swatched the palette and the palette I'm talking about is the Pat McGrath Labs um, Venus Influence Deluxe Quad uh, it when I swatched it at Sephora like I was like oh like oh, I'm gonna have to buy that I, I want it if I can open it and this is what it looks like I know like it doesn't seem like much but like I am telling you it is absolutely gorgeous like what sold me was this sh this shade right here that one let me swatch it real quick and that it is what shade is this one rose fire nectar I believe that's the one let me see no moonlight liaison I think I don't ever know how to tell on these things it has it's such it just it's just absolutely absolutely gorgeous I have been testing that one out and the formula is phenomenal blended beautiful I got so many compliments on that specific shadow right there the only thing is that kind of sucks is that I do have to use a like a base um like the nyx glitter glue i had to use it with that because then it was just not it just wasn't opaque enough so that's the only bummer and it kind of sucks because this this palette is really expensive it's 50 i think 58 dollars and for that it kind of sucks but it's a gorgeous formula absolutely stunning 10 out of 10 that's well 9 out of 10 if you consider that you have to use a a sticky base i personally feel like i have to you don't have to but i feel like i have to the next product that I picked up was the Pat McGrath Divine Blush. I saw this when she when she promoted the pictures, and I was like, absolutely must have. I love blush, and I love 
orangey like fiery blushes that's the blush that I picked up it's not the one I'm wearing today um, but this one's called ooh, what is it called uh, electric bloom it's definitely one of the deeper ones but I absolutely love fiery deeper hot very corally blushes like this is definitely up my alley and absolutely love absolutely love can't say enough good things about it all right all right what's next what's next what's next um i got a lot of eyeshadow palette, uh, eyeshadow palettes so we're just gonna get those out of the way real quick um so i did not need any more eyeshadow palettes i'm telling you but i just couldn't help myself okay um i should probably tell you what it is so i picked up the patrick ta palette and it's of course in this beautiful um rose gold packaging and this too i have been testing like i said i have been have had this stuff for a little while so so you're gonna see a lot of marks and usage in it so this is it i'm sure you guys have like all seen it and it's absolutely gorgeous like i loved it i've been testing these creams i love the creams i think they're easy to work with um i'll probably use this in a upcoming makeup video if you guys want me to i'm happy to do that just come just let me know in the comments below if that's something you're interested in or if you're interested in any of the eyeshadow palettes that i'm going to be discussing today um we're just going to keep moving right along we're going to go ahead and move into it looks like that we're moving into the ulta so that was all the sephora stuff pretty sure um we're going to go ahead and move into the ulta pickup all right, so I picked up the Soph X Revolution, the Extra Spice Mini Palette. I do have the um, Soph X Spice Extra Spice Palette. I think it's that's what it's called. The I don't know, but I do have her second release of her collaboration with Makeup Revolution. Um, I didn't feel like I needed the big palette, so I got the mini just because I absolutely adore this shade i hit pan on this shade on the last palette um and that one is um cookie dough so and i've also as well tested this palette i used this shade and this shimmer shade so i definitely like this, this is a great ten dollar palette i like the packaging it's definitely worth the price they're asking i think it's a good pickup if you're looking for something small and concise and you are not into having a big makeup collection like I do I think that's a good good buy um, I also from that same collection picked up the obviously it's open <laughs> the revolution so X uh, candy icing lip liner and balm um, I wish it was a little like a little bit more brown that's more my preference but I definitely like the color choice I definitely like the just I really like it that's the lip liner and I have eyelash glue on my finger love that for me and I have the lip gloss obviously I have been try testing it out and using it sorry it's a little gross I should probably should have cleaned it didn't realize it it's a little pink um not really my style but I definitely wanted to support her and that's why I picked up these products I really really like it but it's again i'm more of a brown nude kind of girl not a pinky nude kind of girl but that's okay i still really like it and i'll still use it all right so i've heard a lot about the la girl eyeshadow formula i'm kind of snobby about eyeshadow i'm not gonna lie to you i'm super snobby about eyeshadow i don't know why i'm like probably because when I first started getting into makeup like I just assumed a lot like it's just my mind thought process I assumed that like it was all the same and I knew it wasn't but like I just did not have good experiences with drugstore eyeshadows they just weren't high enough quality as I started to learn but I was definitely I was mistaken I will be the first one to admit like I should have kept my opened my mind up and tried different things if one didn't work because this 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 
oh sorry it doesn't seem like much but i swatched this and i was shocked and shocked it's just an understatement like i was like what it, the shimmers are creamy and look at that like stop let me try that on my somewhere else where you can see it because i don't think you can just i don't think you can see it like it's just you just gotta see this like like oh, where am i gonna oh uh, probably should have grabbed a makeup light oh that's true hold on hope you can see that and how beautiful and this is this is insane quality for drugstore it is a higher price palette but you are are also getting very big pans you are getting oh sorry seeing bigger pictures big pans um there's 1.23 ounces um which is the net 35 grams, 35 grams divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 16, 16, hold please, I'm not, I don't do maths well, 35, looks like there are two, am I right, well, correct me if I'm wrong, it's, I think they're 2.18, um, grams per pan so at $15.99 I think that that's an exceptional price I also got the sister palette just because I was so impressed with just the quality and swatch I just I tell me send me messages do you want me to review this like because I just added it to my collection because I felt like it would be a great uh, like great to have in my collection if any if I'm gonna do a video with drugstore products like I have stuff to do those um so this is the sister palette this is is it something called differently I don't know it's the same name but this is the color story on that one also gorgeous I have not swatched this one but based on just the quality of this swatch this watch these watches I presume it's gonna be the same so there's that let me find some more please all right let's continue um I also picked up the Jaclyn Hill cosmetics um the brightening setting palette listen I have thoughts on this so I do like it now the first time I tried it I was like you're wasting your money don't buy it like you're just wasting your money I use this just by itself under my eyes I set it in my eyes with this I can tell you right now don't do that don't do that so this is the medium light palette what I can tell you about this if you're willing to do the extra step you're willing to do the extra step that means I set I set my under eyes I have dry skin I still set my under eyes period end story I live in Florida have to set my, my foundation and my concealer it's absolutely stunning after you set your powder and then use this product beautiful absolutely beautiful but do you have a the time to sit there and add that extra set do you want to do that and do you want to spend the 30 i think this is 34 dollars 34 36 dollars do you it's just you're adding another step to your makeup routine 50 50 i'll do the extra work a lot of the times like I'm on vacation and I do not I, I didn't even think to grab it like so it's really up to you and your makeup preferences if you're willing to do the extra work 
then by all means it's absolutely beautiful I do use a brush I don't use my my sponge and I I think it look comes out gorgeous bright under eyes like it does what it says it's gonna do but I also think that she could have done this as a trio and not a quad not a quad is it a quad yeah quad. Like I said, I'm bad with math. Ooh, exposing myself so bad. But I, all, I don't. I think she could have omitted the shade. Previous packaging, like, do you see? Do you hear that? It has, it has a magnet. It's really sturdy packaging. And then you have this. Like, I paid sixteen dollars for this one i believe 15 16 14 16 dollars and i got this was the original one their first launch and these are the 100 percent mink lashes like but please don't come at me I, I was when i first picked them up i didn't realize they were mink i'm not gonna throw them away because i didn't know i didn't realize it when i this was a long time ago they came out like three years ago no two and a half years ago something like that like something like that and I didn't realize, like, you know, give me a break. These are the same package, like, same style packaging, but, like, it's so, like, how is this $14? Like, it is foam, these are foam ink, and they're same packaging, but they are almost the same price. It doesn't make sense. Why are you charging me? Like, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to go on a tangent. It's just how I feel about it. I do really like the brand. I really do. I would, I have a ton of their lashes in my drawer. That's my opinion. There's that with that. Take that information as you will. But I still really do like the, the brand. I really like their lashes. Obviously, I wouldn't be wearing them if I didn't like them. But I picked these up at Walmart. It's awesome that they're in Walmart. They're a lot more accessible to people. It, you don't have to pay shipping. That keeps the cost down. Awesome. I also picked up their mascara. Ugh. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm be honest. It's a dual mascara. I opened it. I looked at it. I'm like, right. So I don't know if I'm going to like this. And I hope I do. I hope that like, cause mascaras are like, I wear false eyelashes like all the time. I'm not going to wear, I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of money on mascara. So hopefully I'm going to give this a whirl. If I like it, I'll let you know. If I don't, it's just going to go back to the store and story i'm not spending 12 dollars on mascara i don't even spend 12 dollars on mascara on drugstore mascara i always like end up using my points to get mascara and i have a crap ton in my drawer anyways as it is so so we'll see we'll see moving on so oh i can't pronounce this beyond beyond a beauty um, she's also an influencer. I did post her on my Instagram as well. She is, I think she's more well known in, on the Instagram, like, like, platform as opposed to this YouTube platform. At least in my opinion, I think I only ever really see her on Instagram anyways, and I don't think I've ever seen her on YouTube. Could be wrong. If you know who she is, I'll, um, remember to put her, um, her business or if I can find her handle our Instagram handle in my bio so you can check her out if you want to so this is the packaging it's a little gaudy it's expensive it's $17 I don't it just doesn't feel $17 worth oh and this is the prism highlight um, it's expensive it's $17 Hold on, I gotta take that off here's the it's kind of reminds me of like a Fenty Diamond Bomb. It's very clear, sheer. Like, do you see that? It's right there. I. It's soft. I like it. I just, I don't know. It's $17 for drugstore. I don't know. Packaging's a little gaudy. It's a little, like, but it's a little over the top. I don't hate it, but I also don't love it, so... We'll see. I'll probably do a testing drugstore video here soon. So if you're interested in that, don't forget, let me know what's up. All right. But in that same brand, she also came out with an eyeshadow palette. Or, yeah, a quad. Yeah, she came out. I think this is a quad, yeah. And, again, same similar packaging, very loud. I, I mean, I do like it, and at the same time, I don't. 
I got the neutrals. This is like $17 also. And I'm just like, God, $17? Like, what? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, like, just drugstore prices are just going up and that's what it is. That's fine. But, like, here it is. I'll probably end up using the, this in a testing new eyeshadow video or testing new product video. Sorry if I keep looking that way. My monitor's over there. Um, so tell me what you want to see. I'll be happy to do that. All right, we're getting a lot to the last bits because I'm sure this video is getting super duper long. All right, so this is the I I don't know how to like K A B. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce this. This is Kim, Ariana, and Briella. Bri whatever. This is the the one. The woman who's like on Housewives, uh, like that that reality show. I don't watch TV. I don't. I know who she is just because she's all over social media. I know who she is, um, but whatever. So this is their brand. This again was seventeen dollars. This is their glow powder. Basically, is a shimmery blush. It's just a shimmer, like, shimmery blush. So. It's just a glowy blush. It's like a topper. It's right there. It's very sheer. So it, I would go with a topper, a blush topper. I don't think, I really don't think that this is worth $17. Like I, if anything, I'm definitely returning this. I just, it's silly. I like the packaging. Packaging's cute. But $17 for that? Like, girl like chill like that should have been $12 all right guys so that was everything I know there was a lot <laughs> kind of a long video but if you want me to demo anything specific if you want me to go through anything you know you want me to do a drugs a drugstore specific video or just a get ready with me with a bunch of like things put together let me know what's up just let me know in the comments and i will get that video up for you as soon as possible and i guess that's gonna be it for us today guys uh stay safe hope to see you in my next one thanks bye